and show out when you show up. Like, she is it. Hi guys, it's Alyssa here. Welcome back to my channel. So today's unit was sent to you by Ebony Line and we are going to be doing this baby right here. This is Tyrena. She is the newest or one of the newest because she's been out for like two or three weeks now. What lace units and she is that HD lace. So if you guys want to know my thoughts, go ahead and stay tuned. But first, take a second, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and then let's get into the video. All right, you guys. So this is the unit here. This is Tyrena. And Tyrena seems to be like this. She looks kind of bobbish, but not really. But we'll see when we put her on. But this is the color I got her in. I got her in the color Money Piece Champagne. And y'all, if y'all have seen my last couple videos, I've been picking some colors um, that I normally don't pick. But I just want to kind of test them out and, you know, step out of my comfort zone. So this is her. The density feels really good. The texture feels really nice. Let's flip her inside out per usual. So you guys can see what she's looking like. So, she has the adjustable elastic band in the back. And then, of course, the two combs. Oh, three combs at the front. So, one on each side and then just one right here in the middle. And then here is that parting space, if you guys can see that. And then also the one comb in the back. So, she has four combs on this unit, which, I don't know, I kind of might appreciate the four combs. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and get the slam. Music got me on the hill. 
So we are finished with the install and I actually am really liking her. I love the style. I love the cut. This probably of like the Sensation of What Lace of these HD ones, probably like a top two or three for me. Like I really, really love it. Um, so the specs as follows is a 13 by 6 lace parting space unit. Comes with baby hairs and it is super customizable. And this one has that, um, that HD lace. So depending on your skin complexion you may have to do a little bit of work or you might have to do a lot of work it just really depends um i actually have to go in with a powder um, my contour powder and try that and when i realized that i could still like see the lace like a sore thumb i actually ended up wiping some of my foundation off of my forehead so eyebrows up and just reapplying it so that it more bl more blended more seamlessly blended together so it just gave it more of like a more natural finish so i don't know if you guys can tell between now and then the last clip but I actually ended up doing that because I'm like you know what this wig is like sitting HD like it is everyone can see that this is lace so yeah I actually had re redo that and then I didn't use um the got to be gel for my edges I went ahead and used this kit at kiss edge fixer so yeah I just used some edge control just to make it more of like a light hold and to make it look more natural but as far as this unit goes um i didn't really get any well i don't have any tangles i didn't really get any shedding and i honestly think that is because i chose to cut the unit on my wig stand this time and i'm gonna probably start doing that because there was no shedding guys usually when i cut it on my head you can't really see as close as you would like to so when i cut it on the wig stand i could see like that one strand of hair and then the lace so i knew to cut around that and this worked out perfectly Baby hairs were still intact. I didn't have to do any extra plucking or any extra like finessing to lace the baby hairs. Like this is just the baby hairs that were on there. Um, I just cut them down a little bit, but these are the baby hairs. So I was really surprised how that method worked out. But yeah, I love her. She's a great length. The only thing I would say is like these end pieces here and I'm looking at my computer. Um, they're just on the like, this looks a little blunt. And then these look a little bit on like the tapered side. So it's like they were cut down. So if that like bothers you like it's bothering me a little bit, I would probably just go in and chop them off so that they are just a little bit more on the like blunt side with the rest of the hair. But I love, love this unit. As far as cap construction also goes, the unit for me stopped here. And I mean, they got like a little half an inch of edges on, of my own. But honestly, it's not bothering me too much. Um, I don't see myself wearing this in any like updo or anything like that. And I feel like if I do the pullback method, you can definitely leave a little bit of hair out. And it still looks very natural, very good. So regardless, I just didn't feel... Why can't I talk today? I didn't feel it was necessary to go in and actually like glue the unit down in all areas of my head. Didn't want to do that. But yeah, this unit you guys is bomb. I'm going to show you guys the back really quickly. You guys can... See how she sits on the head, see how she's cut, and I'm going to hopefully watch that back and get to see exactly what the, I, yo, I cannot stand turning around because when I turn around, I'm like, how's the back of my head? Is it even? Is it in the frame? I don't know. But anyway, yes, you guys, this unit is gorgeous. Again, this color is Money Piece Champagne, and in the description box, you will find a link to Emmy Line's website where you can definitely check out this unit because I'm telling you, this is a statement piece. This is like a really good bomb wig that you can definitely take and show out when you show up. Like she is it. So don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment down below what you guys think, and subscribe on your way to hit the bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Yeah.